Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, here we go. We have built Violet her own girl's bedroom. She's so cozy in there and she doesn't have to put up with her brothers every day. But, uh, well, she does actually because there's a doorway into the room next door, which is where their bedroom is about to be. So where are you? Come on, Harry and Alex, at you come. Let's see what we're going to do with your bedroom. Oh, look, here's Alex and here's Harry. They're so, oh, <laughs> Looks like they're going to be absolutely fantastic about sharing a room. Ah, uh, dear. Okay, well, let's start on some beds for these boys. And you guys in the comments, bunk beds was the only way to go. You all said, Ellie, they need bunk beds. So bunk beds it is. It's a great space-saving way to put two beds in the room. So we're going to make a blue one here, obviously, for Alex. And here's his white pillow. And to hold it all together, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, we use some grey pieces. Let's see, that is not going to work. Hold on, let me try and rearrange these again. I'm sure I can get this to work with these existing pieces. Let me try one more time. Um, 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 um. Let me see, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, oh no, yep, yep, like this. Perfect, and then this one here will hold them all together. Fabulous, that's that's perfect. So there's one, and we're actually going to have these coming out of the wall. Looks so comfortable at the moment, <laughs> but you'll see. We'll, we'll attach them to the wall, and then the boys will be able to sleep so comfortably. So a green one for Harry. Here's his nice snowy white pillow. So beautiful. And I've got some different gray pieces for the bottom here. There we go. All right. Okay, okay. We've got our bunk beds. So to actually attach them into the wall, we're going to have to do a bit of rearranging here. So let's take some of this existing wall out and then we're just going to reorder it. So bottom bunk down here with the, with the blue, we're going to need a little supporting piece down there for the other side. Perfect. And because the bottom bunk's always kind of dark, we're going to put the windows down here. Right next to Alex is going to have a nice bit of light coming through that. That's not going to fit. So <laughs> we're going to need, well, definitely not going to fit. We're going to need a bit more buffer room here, a bit more headspace. Let's try this. Let's see if I can squish this in just under here. This could be interesting. Ah! <laughs> It's actually really hard. I just knocked a window out. Hold on, we have a window out. Let's get that back in. And now it looks kind of too tall. But I think I think they're going to need that much space. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. Let's see. Where are you? Okay. So, yeah, Alex, yeah, I, th I think that's I think we're going to need that much space. So up here, there's no way that we're going to be able to fit Harry up here and put another room on top of him. So we're going to extend this up like we did in Violet's room. So another layer of bricks all the way around. So it'll give a bit more height in the room. <laughs> he keeps sliding off. I think his bedspread's really slippery. <laughs> we need a bit of friction. So that looks like there's just enough headspace for him under there. Yep, that looks good. He's not going to be able to sit up in the middle of the night though, because he's going to bang his head on the ceiling. <laughs> we might have to rearrange these a bit as we go along, but that looks okay at the moment, except he keeps falling off. <laughs> I think you might need a little guard on the side to stop him from falling out. <laughs> but I really like the rounded over edges. I think it looks really fantastic. Okay, we've extended our, our walls up here and I've put some special pieces in there because I want to hang some pictures from the walls and this is an easy way to do it. Okay. Bunk beds are in and they look very comfy apart from the slipperiness factor. Now check this out, this blew my mind. This was a comment that was left on the Violet's Rooms build video and I had already planned the boys' room out before I even did that video and this comment is exactly what I had planned. So that was so cool. So there's going to be superhero stuff, there's going to be comics, there's going to be a skateboard and we are currently putting in a bookshelf to put some of that stuff onto. It's so cool how you guys can read my mind some Sometimes. So nice big Spider-Man poster up here and on the top shelf of the bookcase we have got a cap display there. Might be a special cap. Oh we could get it signed by somebody famous that would be cool. We're also putting some roller skates up here on the top shelf and the start of the comic book collection. 
We've got the Starfarer here, and up here displayed is the Everyman book and the Super Fig comic books. They're all displayed up there, they're very special ones. Now the boys also love doing magic tricks, so they've got their magic hat there and now their magic wand. Ooh, I bet they practice on Violet. I bet she doesn't love that very much. <laughs> now they also need some storage for their soft toys. You know how soft toys they're so lovely and squishy, but they take up a lot of room. So storing them is actually quite tricky. So we're going to make a, a vertical display for their very special teddies. And they can just grab their teddies then from their bunk beds. So it's perfect. A soft toy storage stand. That's really quite hard to say. And it doesn't want to stand up either. Soft toy storage stand that won't stand up. And on the side of it, we're going to put a lamp, a little night light. A sweet one in bright bright orange <laughs> that might keep you awake looks like it's gonna strobe around like like a like a, an, an emergency light so maybe not that soothing we're gonna tuck it right over here that, that that all just snugs in so perfectly and on the top the little panda stuffed toy is that gonna fit i think if i squish everything we might might be able to put everybody in there that's perfect Oh wow, I love it when a plan comes together. Now over here, we're going to have a skateboard display stand and storage. Once again, I can say storage though. Stand, a stand for storage for their skateboard. Lots of S's. This is a cool skateboard. I love how a lot of the things in their room are bright orange, so vibrant. And I bet Violet steals this skateboard all the time. It really looks like her kind of thing. Now, remember in Violet's room, there was a remote control. And you let me know in the comments, lots of different things you thought the remote control might be for. And do you know what? You had so many great ideas that I'm gonna have to make a completely separate video with all these different remote control ideas ideas some of them are pranks some of them are hilarious so keep writing down what you think the remote control could be used for and I'm going to use my favorite comments in a video which is I think going to turn into lots of pranks for Violet Harry and Alex but the real usage of the remote control is actually to make a remote control car set on the floor of Alex and Harry's bedroom and it's actually going to extend into Violet's bedroom as well and some of you already figured this out because you saw the big race day video the Lego friends one and this remote control set is up in the top level and it's so cool and I loved it so much that I think I said that I'm gonna have to use this set in a kids bedroom somewhere so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna use it here you guys are so clever you listen so well I'm so proud of you <laughs> it is actually a really kind of weird bendy uh, a racetrack here because it has to go around what we've already put in here like the skateboard but that's okay it just means there's gonna be extra curves for them to negotiate it's gonna make the race even more intense and we're going to extend it here into Violet's bedroom look how cool is that so it's gonna go straight through the doorway and this way it ties the two bedrooms into one bedroom. So they're not quite so separated. So that's really cool. That's what her remote control's for. So here's her little pink car to go with her pink remote control. A green one here for Harry, a blue one for Alex, and I'm not quite sure who's in, who's in the lead at the moment. I don't know, because I don't know actually where the start and the finish is, but they're all gonna have a fabulous time playing. And we've, <laughs> we've got a book for them to read. It's very important that they do lots of reading. So we'll pop a book down here. And now we can move Harry back in and he can sit down. Actually, he can't sit there very well. It's not very smooth. <laughs> we might sit him up on his bunk bed and then he has a really good overhead view of the race. Now, because this is a boy's bedroom, we need a token smelly sock just left here on the floor to stink up the whole room. And now the bedroom is absolutely complete. The triplets have got their new sleeping areas. The boys have got bunk beds, just like you all asked for. And Violet has got her own very, very girly room. So let's add this back to the whole house. We'll put it up here on top of this crazy, crazy animal rescue down below. <laughs> oh, that looks really sweet. We can't actually put the next level up if uh, if Harry's sitting up there. And we can put the apartment up the top here. Sophie and Henry have got no idea what's going on downstairs, which is probably quite nice <laughs> for them. Quite peaceful up there in the top apartment. And do you know what? We're going to have to do something about this animal rescue. 
I think we're going to need to rehome these animals and do something with the downstairs in the backyard. So make sure you leave your comments on what you think should happen there and we will rebuild it very, very soon. Sophie and Henry's house and Violet and Harry and Alex. Of course, it's all of their house. They're a whole family and it just keeps changing and it now looks really cool because they've got their own bedrooms ah, and Violet is awake and the fierce competition has started the remote control car track is in heavy usage and I think Violet might be winning what do you think <laughs> now don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification bell so you know when new videos go up check out some more of Sophie and Henry's story and if you don't know how I made a toddler mini doll make sure you check out that video <laughs> it's quite extreme and I'm gonna be back with a new video very very soon so I will see you then Bye.